Hello guys, welcome back to the Clock Pit. Today we're going to take a deeper dive into the Gigabyte Aorus Water Force 4090. I'm going to answer some viewer questions uh, from my first impressions video. And uh, we'll look at some live metrics and statistics, uh, look at the memory temperatures and a few others. Now, first off, you'll notice that from my first impressions video, I had the GPU connected to this ribbon cable down here, and this was giving me all kinds of problems with stuttering. Uh, and as soon as I plugged it directly into the motherboard, all of those issues went away. So that definitely was causing some issues. Um, I don't know if that's specific to this GPU, but I'm assuming it's probably to all models. Uh, it just does not like being uh, extended in the PCIe Express. All right, next, everyone's asking me, can the fans be replaced? Yes, the fans can be replaced. Because I don't find that too troublesome or uh, daunting. It's just clip off the wires and put the right connectors and pins on. The connector for each fan is right here on the side. And this is the connector on there. couple things I want to point out is uh, cable management and the card size. If you look, the length of this card is actually pretty humongous. It's not really thick like, like the air-cooled cards, but it is long and it reaches the entire width of the motherboard. Uh, and on top of that, this four-pin power cable that comes off the end, if this is sitting in a desktop case, there's not a whole lot of extra room for that cable to sit. Um, so you might want to consider that if you're putting this inside an enclosure. Now I'm sure they thought about that in their design spec, so I'm sure uh, it'll fit in most cases. You just might have a tight fit and that cable is, uh, it is pretty tight there. And all of the extra power cabling uh, has to go somewhere. So plan on finding somewhere to debundle that. All right, the last thing I want to point out before we get into the uh, benchmarks and metrics is that everything that I'm going to run is going to run for at least 30 minutes. And last last comment about the hardware, obviously this is an open system, an open air. So if you're planning on having yours in a case, uh, all of these values might vary a little bit and your your mileage may vary. Thank you. 